next we'll study all the formulas okay of half wave rectifier and the full wave rectifier that is center tapped and the bridge type rectifier that is much more important for you for the purpose of numerical okay so in this there is first idc what is idc idc is the average value of dc current okay there is a formula for idc for in case of half wave rectifier it is i max divided by pi okay but in case of center tap this formula is 2 i max divided by pi in case of bridge type rectifier also it is same that is 2 i max divided by pi okay now you have to remember all these formulas because they'll ask you in the numericals next is irms irms i think you know rms stands for root mean square yeah so root mean square current for half wave rectifier the formula is i max by 2 for center tap rectifier that is formula is i max by root 2 again for bridge type means full wave it is same that is i max by root 2 okay next is the peak inverse voltage peak inverse voltage is the maximum voltage that is denoted by piv piv is the peak inverse voltage so what is peak inverse voltage like suppose we are having a waveform like this so maximum voltage it will goes that is the peak inverse voltage so that is how much maybe vs max vs is denoted by the supply voltage and maximum voltage is the peak peak means the maximum okay so for half wave rectifier the formula for peak inverse voltage is vs maximum and for center tap the formula is 2 vs maximum and again for the bridge type rectifier the formula is vs maximum okay if you will say that ma'am we have to do this derivation also then i'll teach you this derivation also because all these formulas comes from the derivation okay next is i max i max is the maximum current or we can say that peak load current so formula for this is you know i is equal to v by r right so i max is equal to vs max divided by rl plus rf what is rf is here rf is the diode resistance okay rf is the diode resistance then you will ask from me then ma'am why they have denoted by f because they are generally using by free wheeling diode we don't call it as normal diode we'll generally call it as free wheeling diode why they have called it free wheeling diode like suppose this is the transformer as i told you they have used the diode okay and then they have used the load resistance okay so there is some amount of resistance present in the diode also that they have denoted by free wheeling diode so if we'll add the total resistance that would be rf plus rl right rf plus rl so that's why they have written here vs max divided by rl plus rf okay next is vs max divided by rl plus rf for the center tap next is vs max divided by rl plus 2rf why 2rf because in this you know that four diodes are used that's why 2rf because at a single time two diodes are working okay but in this half wave and center tap at a single time only one diode is working that's why only rf clear next is the dc output voltage okay that is denoted by vdc again we'll do it for half wave rectifier and center tap and bridge type rectifier vdc is the output voltage as you know that we are using rectifier so rectifier is a device which is used to convert ac to dc right so for half wave rectifier vdc is how much that is i max by pi into rl correct so that's why they said dc now again voltage formula is you know that i into r right i dc is how much we have studied that i dc is how much i max by pi correct 
so that's why they have written that's why they have written idc is equal to imx by pi and r is here rl okay similarly tell me for the center tap rectifier again idc into rl so rl would be as it is for the center tap but is the formula for the idc that is 2 imx by pi okay so that would be 2 imx pi into rl next is again for the bridge type rectifier that is 2 by pi imx into rl same idc into rl clear now voltage formula you know no? according to ohm's law v is equal to i into r right if you will say that v dc that that would be i dc and rl is the load resistance which we have used in the circuit okay clear now next term is uh, rectification efficiency rectification efficiency and as you know that efficiency formula is output divided by input right so in the as i told you in the half wave rectifier its efficiency is 40 percent means it is a 40.6 percent but in case of full of wave rectifier it is 81.2 percent okay yeah 81.2 percent next is the ripple factor again the ripple factor is fixed for all the uh, rectifier ripple factor is 1.21 for half wave rectifier okay and it is 0.482 for uh, center tap rectifier again it is 0.482 for bridge type rectifier okay next is the voltage regulation we are is the voltage regulation okay voltage regulation is good in half wave rectifier and it is better in a center tap rectifier again it is very good in bridge type rectifier okay now form factor remember you have studied the formula for the form factor in electrical so that is having again fixed value that is for half wave rectifier it is 1.57 for full wave rectifier it is 1.11 1.11 okay we have studied this value that was for the full wave rectifier again peak factor peak factor is for half wave it is 2 but again for root 2 that is again we have studied this value why there is a change in this half wave rectifier as you can see that we have studied that IRMS what we have studied irms in normal cases imax by root 2 okay but in the case of half wave rectifier it is imax by root 2 imax by 2 that's why their form factor and peak factor value changes okay next is volt good like it, it is good in uh, case of half wave rectifier and in bridge type rectifier yeah next is the transformer utilization factor tuf that is denoted by tuf utilization factor means how much transformer is utilized okay like that so as you know that half wave rectifier it is very less 0.28 and as you know that in center tap we always require transformer so that would be 0.692 and in bridge type also we require that is 0.812 okay so now these you have to remember all the formulas.